hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for clicking and choosing to watch this video welcome to october series episode 17 <laughs> it's currently raining in namibia and uh yeah it's just such a beautiful weather that we are having down here guys after a very long time of receiving rain so glory be to god we thank god for the rain we thank him for providing for us at a needed time you know god gives at the right time that he knows that we need it so we thank god for that so with that being said guys we are going to head right into our scripture reading of today so we are reading from matthew 6 matthew 6 verse from verse 25 we will see how far we can go i just want to do this real quick because before you know it is going to start dropping again and it's actually cold i'm outside <laughs> so i'm feeling cold yeah so it says therefore i tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is is not life more than food and the body and the body more than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in burns and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life simple and clear in fact mm -mm, not even simple powerful and clear clear and powerful so the bible here tells us you know the bible says that every word every scripture every verse it's a breath from god's mouth every word in the bible is a breath from god's mouth so this is god's spoken word if god himself is giving us that assurance that do not worry about what you will eat what you will drink what you will wear don't worry about anything because even if you worry about these things you are still not able to add a single hour to your life you you are unable to even make yourself live an extra hour just by worrying so so what is the point why do we worry circumstances of life makes us worries and brings a lot of a lot of thinking in our mind uh, uh, makes us uncertain about tomorrow but god here is telling us that you do not worry because you know he is a god of provision he is a god that provides he is the one that created us and he wants to take care of us the only thing that he knows that he can you know god does not need any man to be the god that he is he doesn't need us to be who he is all that he wants from us he wants us to acknowledge he wants us to believe he wants us to have faith in him the moment that you have faith in god that is that that is more like you saying god i know that you can therefore if i don't eat you know what you're going you know what is going to happen to me so give all your your problems unto god stop worrying for once because i believe the reason why god doesn't want us to keep worrying about these things is because by worrying we get distracted from spending time in the praises of god we get distracted from talking to god some of the people even if they are going through stuffs they don't go before god all they try to do is try to figure things out by themselves but god is saying that don't worry about these things look at the birds they don't work they don't store anywhere all that they do is just go out and eat it is your heavenly father provides for them everything that he created he provides for he makes you want to be sure that everything that he created that is alive it is well taken care of he is a god of provision he is a god that of, of god of abundance look at the rain that you are receiving now he know very well that this is a season that my people need this rain and he gave it to us so do not worry about anything Cast all your worries unto the hands of the Lord. I think it's windy outside. Forgive me if if it's somehow this the sound is somehow disturbing because it's it's beginning to be windy. So I just want to encourage you that turn your worries into praises. Praise God instead of you getting worried about everything. 
begin to praise God like he has already done it. Begin to dance for him. Begin to shout out for joy like you have already you are already seeing all the kind of provision that God is giving you. Worship him for the things that he has done and for the things that he is going to do. The things that you are trusting him to do. With that being said, please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you share the video as well. And we will see you in our next episode. With that being said, ciao guys. Oh, don't, hold on. I have a little prayer for you guys. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are the God Almighty, the God all-knowing. You know all that we need. The Bible says that you already know what we want to say even before we confess it to oh God. I pray, Heavenly Father, that if there is anybody that is viewing this video, God, my that is in need. Mighty God, you see their need. You see their worries, God. I pray that you will take away their worries. I pray that you, you will provide for them, Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you and I bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, guys. See you in our next one.